Maybe I should blink on that, I'm not sure. Oh, hello Thor. Missing everything. Good man. Catch this. What is up beautiful people, it's Sildren here, welcome back to my channel, today we're playing Hercules Conquest as a jungle, as a jungle, coming in here by Discordia against what looks like a Thor Janus combo, pretty standard stuff. Uh, no off meta picks what it looks like besides myself, and yeah, Hercules jungle, pretty strong, a lot of people sleep on it in my opinion, but... He is very much a viable jungle. His amount of CC and damage that he can put out, along with a pretty heavy sustainability, is very, very strong. The early clear, a little bit lacking, but it's not a big deal. Of what looks like, Thor just finished the blue camp, and Arthur is pushing up way too far, but it's fine. He's not going for the mids here because we have a blink and we will wail on him if he does. Hmm. Janice is in a bit of trouble getting... Oh, Discordia is in a bit of trouble getting poked out, but it's fine. I'm gonna try and poke him. Did not succeed. Some more poke and we're disengaging. This goes pretty well. Oh, they're going straight for the buff right in front of me. Are you sure about that? That's not gonna work well for them. Keep wailing on them. Oh, I whiffed my, my, one of my autos. That's unforged. Gonna keep clearing this. They both disengage so we get that red buff for free. Instead of chasing, we can just take it. Ooh, look at this Cordia. Just styling on the man. That's pretty nice. So we get a first blood off of our aggression. Like I said, Hercules. Pretty, pretty aggressive jungler. Especially early on, the CC is there, the damage, the base damage is very high. The driving strike, one of the best abilities in terms of base damage and early game. So we're doing what we're supposed to do, is putting our team ahead in the early. Gonna secure our red buff here and go straight for the speed as well. Pretty much standard stuff basically, rotating through the jungle, dual lanes seem to be pushed up very far so they're not struggling. Which means that we don't need to be present in their lane, especially that we cannot really gank with them being uh, as aggressive and pushing them as far. So we're just gonna do our uh, standard route, just go for the blue here. It looks like Arthur is also doing a good job against Vamana, which is what I like to see. So I'm gonna just hit four, which is the same as the Arthur. Let's let's let him know that I'm doing it. He should have noticed it before. Okay, Janice is available. We can look for that. Can I bop him? He gets out. Yeah, that's Janice for you. Very annoying. Red's up. I should have rotated there. Yeah, I made a couple steps to the wrong direction. Do we get it? Nah, it's down. Okay. Looks like Thor was clearing it out while we will wail in on Janus. A little bit unfortunate, but not a huge deal. It's their buff after all. They're supposed to have control of it. Going for the right mids here. There should still be available. Yep. And rotating to the smalls will allow me to get the full boots. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're focusing the hits on the central harpy here. So that our driving strike damage would split between the three and we clear it faster. Pretty basic stuff, honestly. And we back for full boots. I'm gonna opt for Tolaria boots here for move speed and MP5 because Hercules is very mana hungry. And we immediately rotate for the speed without losing a single second on the respawn. And utilizing the Talaria boots in full with their passive. Now with the Assassin's Blessing we're not running out of mana anytime soon. With the 15 MP5 on the Talaria which is nice. 
The red buffs down. We're rotating for the dual lane. Looks like Fafnir is dead. If he's not, we're gonna secure that. There he is. Well, Neve did a great job. I think I provided the vision for her to shoot the ult, which is nice. This should be ours. Pretty easy. Oh, hello, Thor. Let's box it out. Nah, he's too spooked. I gave the vision for the dueling. They should be aware. Let's look at the red. Nah, he didn't clear it. So, Discordia just died. So, we're going to rotate for the mid and secure that wave. You, uh, you going to start getting kills too? Grabbing that MP5 from the totem. Going for the mids. Janus might push up here, so we're gonna wail on him. Nah, he, he recognized the fact that I'm around, I think. Maybe I'm standing on the word or something like that. Good of him. There's nothing in the jungle for him, so he should be around. Yeah, I'm definitely standing on the word. Can I kill him? I can kill him. Yeah. I mean, unfortunate for him, really. Not a whole lot he could have done there. He also burned beats. So that's like double unfortunate. But yeah, I spent some quality time there trying to look for him. And he had to initially step up. He wasn't out of position. It was just not a whole lot he could have done there. The speed isn't up yet, so we're gonna pull that down, get some additional gold to not waste any time. Going for the smalls here. Uh, looks like the blue buff was taken by Arthur himself, so that's nice. Oh, Thor is ulting. And there's three people in solo lane for some reason. What the hell? Gotta get ulted. But yeah, nothing I can do about that. They're all oom, but there's three people. Oh, we grab his beads for nothing. That's nice. Very nice of him to provide that. He decided to be a little bully and <laughs> he paid with his beads. So overall, things are going pretty well for us. We are 3k ahead. Uh, we are even in farm in XP. Oh, hello Fafnir. You're in trouble. If you think that I'm not gonna go on you, you're mistaken. Let's keep wailing, make forces jump. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Red buff should be down, so I'm not rotating there. I just want to secure these oracles. Yeah, Sylvanas just provided vision. It's down. Oh, hello, Apollo. What you doing? <laughs> hmm, did not connect, unfortunately. I'm gonna pull back, not steal the experience of Oni. Allow her to clear and probably build stacks. Oh, he's pushing up. That gonna get him. Oh, Neath ulted. That was also a perfect ult, and I did not commit. Unfortunate. Look at Fafnir just being dumb. Thor's ulting. We're gonna straight up focus on the juke. We pretend to go here. No, here. We go there. No, not there. And he misses. He missed entirely. He didn't even hit Neath, which is nice. So that's the way he sealed. Pretty simple stuff, really. Uh, this Thor has shown to be wasting a lot of time trying to ult people. And when you aim so long, you usually miss. You have to commit immediately. The sooner the better. Because if you give your opponent, which is me, an ability to juke freely, you're gonna get out juked. I'm sure you helped. Looks like Discordia is in a lot of trouble. She's out of position. She's dead. We're gonna try and reverse that. Get maybe a return kill. I think Thor just used his hammer. Yeah, but... I would rather secure the wave. They seem to be moving towards our red buff, so... Yeah, there's two of them. Not gonna risk it. Gonna move for my speed buff. Hop this chalice because it's full. Hmm, looks like they were too afraid to go for the red. I did not recognize that. Sylvanas is securing it, so it's fine. Discordia does not recognize the fact that the buff is there. Uh, she might as well pick it up, I think. I think she'll be there on time, it's fine. Apollo might be out of position again. 
He doesn't see me even. Just wail on him a little bit. There's an ult coming. We're gonna wait for that stun now. Oh, okay. okay. He got the beads. Good man. I mean, I should have thrown it a little bit to the right and he would have still died with his beads being down, but I wasn't expecting him to do that. Which is silly of me, to be honest. Okay, Janus is coming this way. Let's wait for him. Hello, Janus. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, that worked out pretty well. It was very obvious for him, the previous style of play that this Janus pulled off. And just the regular what Janus should be doing here. He did exactly that. Even the spot was there. <laughs> I just had to be a little bit patient. And trust in him. In his ability to do the basic Janus play. Let's look at the left. Uh, purple is spawning, so Apollo might be around. Just willing to take it. Hmm. Nobody's present. Oh, there he comes. But that's too late. Maybe I should blink on that. I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Thor. Missing everything. Good man. Catch this. And Fafnir, out of frustration, gonna stun me again and run away. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, I missed the pluck. That allows Apollo to survive. Am I gonna die here? Mm, I'm definitely dying here. Yep. That should have happened. So Apollo holds back into the fight oh, and immediately gets blown up. And Fafner also dies, so my death was bad, but not crucially. And we traded two kills for it, so I guess I'll take it. But if I didn't miss the pluck, we would have been better off. I mean, it's my misplay, so you gotta own it. People are trying to sneak on the gold fury. Didn't work for them. Ooh, didn't work for both of them. Very unfortunate. Gonna just clear the wave since the Scordia is dead again. Make sure that we don't lose any experience in gold. The red's down. Big yikes. Thor pretends to be going on Gold Fury. They cannot do that. Do they not realize I have a ward? I guess they do not realize we have a ward. Ooh, <laughs> that was a funny juke. Not intentional, but very funny. They are all so scared of me. As they honestly should be. I'm pretty huge. Apollo cannot fight me. I'm two levels on him. Janus just straight up cannot fight me. Hello Janus, what you doing? Oh, you're dying. That's what you're doing. And Fafnir stuns out of frustration and runs away again. That's his like favorite stick. So it looks like my team is uh, willing to secure the gold fury. I should be there, so I'm gonna rotate Vamna Arthur to busy in solo lane. Actually, we can make sure that they lose some of that bunch of alpha discordia. Yep. And now we rotate for the fight. This is down. Janus might be looking. He's looking. Hello, Janus. Aw, oh, man. And my blink is also fucked up. This is gonna hit. Yeah, there you go. Or. Apollo, you cannot fight me, my man. I do with one auto more than you do with three. That's gonna be his beats and Aegis, but he still dies. Fafnir's been aggressive so far, so he's definitely gonna jump in for me, unless we juke it, and we do, and he doesn't jump, which is nice. Our solo laner's been very passive, like our Arthur is way ahead, and he just keeps this Vamana engaged, not allowing him to leave the lane. Both of them should have left like five minutes ago, but both of them still sticking around. Arthur is level 17. At this point, you should be rotating through his stuff, man. And yeah, he's huge. He's going to get killed now. Nothing I can do about that. I'm way too far. Looks like Thor is afraid of fighting Arthur, so he's been fighting for a long time. Looks like Thor is actually disengaging. I'm going to help there. 
I don't want this huge Arthur to die. Mm, he dies to Apollo, looks like. No, not yet. We're gonna secure him. Just drop it in there, make him bounce. Arthur's running away, Vamana. We cannot burn him down efficiently. Yeah. He's been in the ult a little bit too long. Oh, what you doing, man? Body block him from the portal. He cannot do anything. And he goes down. Thor's coming in with an ult. That's pretty chaotic. So far, Thor's been pretty spooked. And I wish Neath was pushing the left Phoenix this whole time. But she didn't. A little bit unfortunate. That was a pretty free Phoenix. She didn't recognize it, but it's fine. It's happening. Every now and again, I guess. Gonna rotate through the jungle. Let Arthur secure the tower. Make sure it doesn't go down. Sylvanas here helping me with the thing. Which is nice of him. Saving me some time. Gonna rotate through my smalls to get the full heart seeker off of that back. And I guess that'll be a surrender vote. Well, we are we are 10k ahead at 18 minutes. And yeah, Hercules jungle. Pretty effective, guys. Pick it up. It's pretty fun. So in terms of builds. I'm going into a lot of cooldown early on, which is Jotun's Wrath, allows me to have 20% CDR right off the bat. Uh, we're going obviously Assassin's Blessing, but before the Jotun's we finish off Talaria, which allows me to catch up with a lot of people. It gives me also the MP5 sustain, which is Hercules is pretty mana hungry, so that MP5 helps a ton. The same for Transcendence, even more MP5 at this point, you never run out of mana, which is nice. And when you stack up the full Transcendence, you get the 30% CDR, which is enough. Because in the late game, you're gonna pop a potion and it'll help you with a 40%. Heart Seeker for additional damage. I have three damage in abilities, which is not four when the Heart Seeker is optimal, but still, my scaling is not as uh, high and my base damage is what, uh, what gives me the damage. So, having Heart Seeker doing that percentage damage is a very, very good pickup for Hercules that goes damage. Next item would be something defensive like a Void Shield, probably, maybe Hide the Urchin, and then. I would probably round it out with a wind blade to get some additional ability to catch up and provide some utility for my team because at this point I would not be blowing up people except for Apollo and Janus and Thor <laughs> so I guess all the people would be blown up but because what looks like Thor is not building any D and in terms of kill participation we have 10 out of 15 which is way over 50% which is optimal so that's like 66% participation which is very very good and in terms of damage uh, we are not top on the field, um, not surprisingly really. Arthur been wailing on that poor Vamina who can regenerate insane amount of health with his ultimates. And he's been wailing on that poor big baby for quite some time, racking up this number. But besides him, nobody else is even remotely close to me. I have 12k top the enemy jungler by four times the amount, which is insane. Uh, my warding is, well, nothing out of the ordinary. Unfortunately, not our support is the lowest on the field in terms of wards. He didn't even exhaust the free ward, which is very, very poor of him. Arthur is next in line who didn't exhaust the free ward. Everybody else, considering it's a pretty short game, warded a substantial amount. Our ADC is out damaging the enemy Apollo by a little bit. Our supports are about the same damage and mitigation and everything else. Except for the player healing from Sylvanas, who can be added to the damage, and that will be almost like twice the amount of the damage that Fafnir did. Our Arthur obviously out damaging the enemy Vamana by almost twice the amount, but like I explained already, it doesn't really matter as much because none of them were present anywhere else besides their lanes. And the kill participation out of these boys kind of shows. So three kills on the Arthur and no kills on the Vamana. And our mid laner su substantially ahead of the enemy mid participating in eight kills, which is to be blunt, not a whole lot. 
And that'll be a Hercules game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. It helps YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people, which is much appreciated. Leave a like on the video if you like the video. Leave a comment if you want to ask me a question because I respond to every single comment on my channel so far. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.